Good morning. So glad you can join me today. I'm always pleased to be here. And I would like for you to share, like, and subscribe if you have not subscribed. We never know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, I opened this channel to talk about my life, but uh, I get requests for other things because I'm a wellness advocate for doTERRA essential oils. I'm also a home economist. But what I am not is a doctor nor a medical advisor. I do research and I share with you my findings. And if you have something to add or you have questions, you're welcome to go to the comment sections section. And I do blunder and I do have brain freeze and that's another reason for my videos. So what I have today is very informative and I think you will enjoy it. So I am going to talk about vaginal dryness today. Uh, essential oils, coconut oils, and food. That are, that's my main subjects. And the first thing I'll talk about is the causes of vagina, vagina, the dryness, but it's not limited to this. And again, if you know something that's not on my list, please add it into comments. Uh, number one is menopause. And I'm not going to go into menopause because the V is a very deep subject no pun intended uh, your period will do it breastfeeding giving birth contraceptives certain medications chemo and allergy medicines but to my big surprise beta blockers showed up as a cause for dryness and I can't take beta blockers because they give me muscle fatigue, muscle weakness, and I can't walk. What is the vagina? It's a muscle. Now, if you have high pH in your V, that's going to dry you out. Smoking, alcohol. Alcohol causes dehydration. Dehydration dries everything out. Even sex. Uh, causes dryness because a woman's pH is 3.825 and a man's semen is 7.2 to 8. So you have the alkali and you have the acid which throws it off balance. Uh, not having sex it will actually um, cause you to dry out. There's an old saying, wise tale, it says that when a woman's husband dies, the brother or the uncle or the father take the wife in so she doesn't dry out. Your feminine products, your sprays, your washes, your perfumes, everything, they they have drying substances in, in them and they'll dry you out. If you want to smell pretty, drink a uh, fennel, I forgot what it was, but drink pineapple juice if you want to smell pretty. I had, a, I have heard many horror stories about estrogen replacement. Um, it's recommended by your doctor to take it. Uh, but regardless of what re product you use, what you are doing is you are pumping a cancer-causing substance into your body. Even if it's at a low dose, you're still pumping it in. You know, I had a hysterectomy in my 40s. And my doctor recommended estrogen for life. I don't remember if either my insurance forbid paying for it or it just wasn't in the budget. 
So I never took the estrogen replacement. But my vagina is fine and it's 30 years later. Um, but you know, maybe I should back up here and, and, and talk about exactly what is vagina dryness. Now, the vagina has thick muscles and, and they're lubricated and they're elastic. But when your estrogen starts declining, well, this thick muscle starts getting thinner and the lubrication starts getting less. And this can happen at any age, okay? Because of the causes that I told you, you know, maybe you're a teenager and you have over high function menstrual periods, you know, and that, that can hurt you too. Uh, vagina dryness is very painful it really can affect your quality of life. Normally, your V lining is lubricated with the fluid that keeps your vagina thick and elastic, you know? The hormone estrogen helps keeping your lining moist and healthy. And when your estrogen level decreases, you become dry. Dryness is a situation that can cause pain just by sitting, exercising, uh, peeing, and sexual intercourse can be very, very painful. Uh, the sexual penetration uh, can cause friction or the, the rubbing can cause the thinning lining of your V to bleed because it's tearing it. Dryness isn't always just inside of the, the vagina. It can be also the, the vagina canal. It can be also externally in your vulva. Uh, your vulva can become very hard, very irritated, and that would affect your sitting. Uh, your increase in your urinary frequency happens. I need to look more into that, but uh, you get tra you get urinary tract infections, uh, UTIs. Uh, you could even get yeast infections. Your your V is a very sensitive, very well maintained area. Uh, so when something goes wrong, it can go it can go wrong for sure. Ooh, just thinking about that puts me in pain. Yeast infections, UTIs. Uh, I, I, I never once, once went to the doctor for a UTI and the doctor could have said, hey, you might have vaginal dryness. You know, never once. Never once was I told that maybe that's why I had a yeast infection. So when, when you have these issues, you need to look into them, okay? And those who know me know I say no to medications. I, I, I don't believe in the pharmaceuticals. Uh, I, I have home remedies and home remedies have been around for thousands of years maybe they don't work as good as a super antibiotic or whatever, but they don't have side effects. 
and, and if they do have side effects, they're manageable and you can change your routine to get them to work for you. I go to the doctor, I come home mad, sad, irritated, ah, because I've wasted my time and I've wasted my money. I, I got to the point, I don't even want to go to the doctor. Uh, I have to go to get my insulin, but I don't even have to do that because Walmart sells it. So anyway, I don't like putting chemicals in my body, bottom line. And doctors were trained by pharmaceutical and so they're not really trustworthy. Enough of that. Because then we go to the Bible. At James 5, verses 14 through 15, it says in the King James Version, If any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he committed sins, they shall be forgiven on him. You know, so, and, and there's many scriptures in the Bible. It says, you know, our bodies were built to heal ourselves. And he gives us instructions on how to do it. And food is thy medicine. So remember when your mama said, eat your vegetables, eat your spinach, papai, right? Well, those greens can prevent dryness because they have the vitamins A, B, E, and they can help promote natural lubrication also you can eat nuts seeds and healthy fats uh, sugarless cranberry juice this is very good for you just don't go and grab a cranberry you know you need to read the label you don't want any additional things in it what you want is the bad tasting cranberry juice, the pure stuff. Always my nose itches. We don't want to stop a good thing, I guess. Okay, now what the cranberry ju juice does, it adjusts your pH in your body. And it reduces the V irritations. And it can also reduce the UTIs because it contains E and C, omega-3s. Uh, they aid in producing additional lubricants to the decrease in dryness and increase blood flow, okay? Blood flow is very important to that area. How would you increase that? Well, you would eat raw pumpkin sesame seeds and sunflower seeds and your fish mackerel salmon tuna are the best but if you don't like those three just as long as you eat fish get your omega-3 i think flaxseed has omega-3 and, and, and this next food was very surprising to me uh, it's sweet potato it's rich in beta carotene and vitamin A. It helps protect the thinning and strengthens your muscle tissues. That is important to get your V muscles strong. And it helps normalize your estrogen. So if your estrogen is normalized, then your muscles will strengthen so that is really good to know uh, and if you know other I mean I just listed a couple of foods so there's so many more uh, so if you know some put it in the comments because we'd all love to know them nobody wants to be dry down there okay now 
Another food that you would need is probiotics. Probiotics can come in the form of yogurt, kimchi, kabucha, sauerkraut. But doTERRA makes this really nice probiotic. You see, it's double. You have a pill within a pill. So when this probiotic gets into your stomach, your stomach acids are going to eat the first layer. Then it'll pass into your intestines and then your intestines will be able to get all the probiotic you need. They even have um, prebiotics, but I threw away the bottle because it was almost empty. I take the prebiotic for 10 days and then I take the probiotic for, for 10 days. It's an excellent probiotic. Okay, so but remember, water is essential. I got some mineral water here. Not something that you would drink every day, but sometimes it helps to replenish your minerals. Um, another problem that is very common is stress and anxiety and other mental disturbances. Because when we're having our stress and our anxiety, well, our hormones go crazy and they start fluctuating back and forth and going crazy. Well, estrogen is a hormone and that that is going to affect your little kitty cat, okay? So always try to stay calm. You might even want to find your meditation if you're really stressful and have a lot of anxiety. Try to stay away from medications. There's so many good things. If you, you know. So, when you think about essential oils, you do the topical applications on your face, you know. I, I use three or four different essential oils because I have macular degeneration and that's helping me. And then I use oils, oregano on the bottom of my feet and everything. So if these topical applications with different oils help you, why are not they gonna help you downstairs? So I, I got a, a list of oils I'll share with you and um, if you have oils that you prefer or you think are better or you want me to investigate an oil for you, put it in the comments, please. Now, we know that the essential oils have, in a, they have in, inflammatory properties. The plants are well known for um, their ability to heal damaged tissues and to spur cellular overturn, turn. Okay. <sighs> Gotta quit saying okay. Okay. Uh, they also promote lubrication as a moisturizer to help retain the tissue's integrity. And, and essential oils have been used for thousands of years. So some of the best essential oils for dryness are, I don't have my bottle of sandalwood with me, but I used it up, or I lost it, I don't know. But anyway, I couldn't find it. But sandalwood is great for the irritation and, and the itching. So with the sandalwood, you would take about two drops of, um, your sandalwood and, and rub it on your irritation and, and that, that'll that get rid of it and it'll get rid of the itching. You never want to put anything into the vagina and I'll tell you about that later. Then we have this big old bottle, it's got 85 servings in it of Roman chamomile. Now Roman chamomile is anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial.
frankincense. I use a lot of frankincense. I love frankincense. But this is great uh, for soothing your mucous membranes. Okay, remember the two drops to one tablespoon of your fractionated coconut oil. And this oil here has got to be everybody's favorite. I even had it in my cat video. But this oil here is going to soothe you because it's an anti-inflammatory. Now, I know there's a lot of other oils that you could possibly use. So, like I said, please put it in the comments. I, this is a long video. I can't tell everything. But, uh, un unlike silicone and water-based lubricants, um, coconut oil has a consistency that's thicker and it's longer lasting and it doesn't have any chemicals in it but condoms and coconut oil are not compatible uh, it is rich in antioxidants because it has essential fatty acids proteins as well as vitamin A, B and D and E it's has any bacterial properties. Uh, studies have shown that coconut oil has the anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial action that effectively kills bacteria. So, at a later date, I'll talk more about coconut oil. I'm running out of time and I'm not even finished. Uh, back in the day, Dushin was very popular and you should not douche. Uh, I can go into further in a later video on douching, but your body, your, your V, it is self-cleaning and the acid, if your pH is right, it's gonna kill any parasites or anything that comes in there. Um, they say douching makes you feel fresher. This is what the pharmaceutical says, I feel fresh. Uh, I got rid of that unpleasant odor uh, I can wash away my menstrual blood. I won't get pregnant. And I won't get any STDs. Well, that statement is not true. That is a false statement. Uh, and the health, health experts say this is not effective. Douching. Uh, gets rid of your natural balance in your in your V. It changes the environment, makes you susceptible to infections. And it said by WebMD, if you douche at least once a week, uh, it's linked to um, possibility increase to developing cervical cancer. And like I said before, the vagina is self-cleaning. So if you eat right, you do your proper hygiene, you take your vitamins, use your essential oils, you're, you're, going, you're, good, you're good for go. And uh, my video is running over time. I haven't even covered the uh, surface and I, I will have to do new videos to conclude this. But I thank you for your time. I thank you for listening. Remember, share, like, and please, if you haven't subscribed, do. God bless you.